<laughs> Revolutionizing space technology through outer space entertainment. Making space accessible to all. Opening scientific research to all. Hello, this is Rena Okajima, CEO and founder of AIR. Today, I'd like to spend these 20 minutes to sharing why I started AIR and the, my journey to entrepreneurship and what exactly we do. And in the future, what we are look like. I have, I've had a lifelong interest in space. I brought up in Totori Prefecture. Basically, Totori is a small prefecture about 550 kilometers from Hiroshima. And Totori has a very beautiful and clear sky. As a child, I've stand, spent a lot of hours to gazing stars. I really enjoyed millions of stars are twinkling. So, uh, <coughs> so my passion to space started when I was a child. So at, at the same time, I really thought about the truth of the universe, how the universe is formed, how the universe began, how far away are we from the stars, and even are uh, aliens real? I also immerse myself in a books, reading books by Hawking and Einstein. And I found that to the key to understanding the universe is physics. I really immersed myself. And I really, my passion of space began uh, with thinking these things. This continued uh, in, when into university. I was majored in astronomy and got PhD in observational cosmology from University of Tokyo. I focused on the universe expanding. So universe, I wanted to know uh, I wanted to find out universe is expanding. So if the universe is ex expanding, how quickly? But about the same time, I found my colleagues are too immersed in their research. From lab 
to lunch, to free time. Everybody talking about their research. Don't get me wrong, uh, I loved to speak my colleagues too. However, I had other interests too. Uh, at the same time, at the same time, uh, I wanted to connect science to society, to all people. I voluntarily, I started voluntarily to explain complex scientific theses in layman's terms. Also, I started an online gaming company and online gaming and software company. I had good experience of that. Then my passion became two, science and space and business. So my initial business idea come from that time. I wanted to bring, bring money to science, not simply by governmental grants. That was my initial plan of business. My life changed 2001 and 2002. I went to Chiba and Totori to watching Leonid and Perseid meteor showers. To sh I watched Leonid meteor shower with my classmate and chatted and get the idea. Shooting star particles is shooting star occurs from small pellets, then we can recreate the same situation with using microsatellite. That, that's the time our idea comes. So next nine to 10 years, this was my passion and I spent my free time to realization of this project. After I got PhD in 2008, I left academia and got into business world. I worked at Goldman Sachs as an associate, and after that, I started my consulting company to support Japanese company go through the expanding emerging markets. At about the after at about the same time, in 2009, I also started a feasibility study of shooting stars for realize my project. And this feasibility study was succeeded in 2009. Then I inco incorporated air in 2011 and started the first and only space entertainment company in the world. So this is uh, what we exactly do. We, <laughs> we, we will launch the satellite, and satellite contains parrots. And satellite release the parrots into the atmosphere. Then parrots burn up very brightly. Now we are developing multiple colors shooting stars, such as blue and green and orange. Our shooting stars are very well visible for very great, er very wide, wide range area in 200 kilometer diameters. So our application could be here. We will 
our application could be city-wide event and city promotions and thermal parks. Now we are uh, making new culture to enjoying shooting stars. Because our shooting stars visible very <laughs> very huge area, so uh, we can have many events at the same time, same time, in parallel. Actually, this idea is not my idea. Initially, my business, business model is different from this. At first, I only thought individual shooting star selling individual shooting star to individual buyers. However, uh, our marketing team joined our company and created such a great vision. So this is all citywide area festival collaborate with government and corporate sponsors and many artists. So our technology is here. We are developing a micro satellite and mainly our key technology is these three, shooting star particles in multiple colors and feeding device and discharging device. As I mentioned before, I also wanted to do scientific contributions to using our shooting star, artificial shooting stars. We could know more about upper atmosphere and atmospheric reentry, and of course, natural shooting stars. We will be open our scientific data to all the scientists in the world. Air has also uh, published many papers and attended many conferences and symposium. Of course, uh, after we released the shoot our shooting stars, it's had more, more uh, papers and symposium attendees are ad adding. So what's the next? Now we are doing shooting the challenge to push ourselves, uh, ourselves vision become real. So first shooting star should could be delivered in 2019 in Hiroshima. It would be very huge uh, event, Hiroshima and Setouchi area. And uh, what I want to, I want to say is uh, diversity is important. As I mentioned, our business model changed uh, other people joined. As satellite uh, use gravity to make swing by effect, we also same we also have same effect of swing by. Uh, because our project uh, consists and supported by many kind of people, such as artists, engineers, investors, and governmental officials. So what I want to tell you is uh, the key to the growth of our the key to our growth and ac our acceleration is diversity and open mind. 
So thank you so much for listening. Thank you.